how to be happier without spending a lot of money. Hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Let's talk about happiness. Let's talk about money. Let's talk about your social well-being today. I know this is hard to focus, right? My name is Ted Vang. I am a trainer for the work that I do. I've done it for 25 years. This is my 25 years anniversary at the work that I do. My job is to coach people, help people prepare for their job, and also working with clients in a different way, different walks of life. Mostly, clients who cannot help themselves without a little help from the government. And or sometimes I help business prepare how to move forward, like recruiting for new employees, maybe set up an interview, so on and so forth. I tell you what, everything else, it's just the detail. Okay. Now the most important thing is be happy. All right. So let's talk about happy. There is an old saying that money can buy happiness. Correct, but having money also help you be happy. Wouldn't that be true, right? Well, with the current situation and with today's social media feed and flooded with exotic getaway vacation, even people who are well planned to stay vacation at home feel like you have to get out and spend the money that you may or may not have them to be happy. Fortunately, there are plenty of tips on how to be happy, my friend, online. And I'm looking for one right now. I'm reading one right now, written by Banking Rates. Go Banking Rates. So thank you for an excellent article. And combined with the experience that I have, let's share some tips. Number one. Strengthen bond with family and friend. How about making a strong relationship with your friends and family? You can't buy true relationships and true friendship with money, aren't you? Well, no. But having good and true friendship and relationship with your family can bring a lot more happiness than a bigger bank account. According to the study, it showed that having close relationship is one of the most important element of a happy life. Okay, so happiness is what you want it to be. All right. So number two, create gratitude journal. It's some time, my friend, reminding yourself of things you are grateful for help you live happy life. A journal help your memory as well. Imagine you can carry a bag that collects all of your emotion, experience, things throughout the year, thing throughout the day. Just talk about a day, okay? Now at my work, I usually train new employee, and I told them that everybody, everyone has a bag. It's called baggage, okay? We got baggage. So if they come to work. They collect everything and put in their bag before they leave work. I ask that they leave their bag at the door and don't worry about it because I promise tomorrow when they come back or the next day to come back, the bag will still be there. But really, it doesn't help them to take that baggage with them home. And I tell you what, and you add the stress at home to it, you'll be exploded, my friend. Okay, so that. Is one of a good suggestion. Now,、uh, this one is、uh, it is this suggestion came from Kara Maximo LCS and CPC, a New Jersey-based licensed clinical therapist, social worker. She said, "At the end of the each day, take a moment to rid yourself of all the negativity by taking a deep breath and visualizing yourself dumping the content of your bag." That may be holding you back from feeling happy, motivated, or energized. So use the acronym BAG, B A G, okay, to remind yourself. B start with B. What was the best and brightest part of the day? 
A. What you accomplish during the day, and G. What you are grateful for and why it is important, according to Kara. So, next number three, go for a walk. I tell you what, with my experience working in a stress stressful environment for twenty five years, nothing, nothing. I mean. It's more important than take a little walk. Now, I used to be、uh, young and energetic, and I can just go on like ten hours a day without doing a thing. Okay. Now, I tell you what, my supervisor and manager usually come and say, "Hey, Ted, take a little walk, or you know, don't just sit at your desk. It's okay. We we don't pay you enough to just to do、um, so much. I mean, yes, we pay you. All right." But you need to take a little walk. Now, beside that, officially, every supervisor when they do your evaluation, they actually ask you whether or not if you take a little mini walk, a little mini,、um, you know, a rest. Like, okay, you do this. You sit in for twenty minutes. Maybe you know, get up and and grab something. Do a little walk around the aisle and. Every two and a half hour or three hour, take a ten to fifteen minutes walk. You don't need an expensive gym membership to accomplish this task, my friend. No expensive or fancy treadmill at home waiting for you every day. Just take a walk. Go outside and take a little walk. I promise you will improve your mood immediately and for free. Okay, now if you're at home, if you're working from home, turn off your TV, put down that magazine that you read, turn off your phone, and go for a walk. All right. Now, what it is important is that at least take a ten minutes walk. If you can't walk fast, walk like you walk. That's all you need to do. Okay. Now, what you get from the walk is. You get the、uh, you know physical exercise, the physical walk, and you got、uh, the feeling、uh, your emotional like open up. Okay, breathing fresh air, that is really important. Remember you watch uh, uh, any Korean movie? I I I just tell you this again that I'm a freak when I when it comes to、um, Korean drama. I love Korean drama, and guess what? I I you know those movie all always said something like okay.、Uh, I'm just gonna go and、uh, get a little fresh air. Okay,、uh, stop it. Okay, I'm gonna go for a fresh air. And、uh, every time they do that, I feel like, huh? I've been watching for two hour. I should go out and get a fresh air, just like the、uh, the character on my TV screen. All right. So that will help you. So go ahead, go ahead, and take a little walk, and don't worry about.、It, okay. Now be sure you be safe. All right, for doing that. Okay. When you're at work, make sure you walk on the sidewalk, and、uh, when you walk in the parking lot, make sure a lot of people don't even watch where they're going. So be careful. All right. Next, define fun for you. Have you ever defined what's fun, what's serious, what is too serious? Well, fun can mean different thing to different people. So it's important for you to know that what bring you joy. Ask yourself. Okay, and be honest. What is fun for you? Do you even know how to get fun? Are you too serious? Are you not having any fun at all, my friend? Don't do that. Okay. Now, to me, okay, fishing, maybe go a little gambling once in a while, bird watching, do a little travel, hunting is what I like to do. Through flea mark, I'm going flea market shopping. Even I have everything. Sometimes I still, you know, go flea market and and you know enjoy that、uh, old stuff. I mean, I mean, look at the picture. I bought things that I don't even know that I need it. All right, so that will be something. If you like to cook, cook. If you want to ski, go skiing. Just something for fun. If you don't know how to get fun, if you don't know anything about being fun, try. Okay, try new fun. Try something. Treat yourself. If anything else, you need to treat yourself first. There are two things important in life when you talk about fun and treating yourself. Is that if you earn a bunch of money at one point at one time, 
if you have a salary from work, if you earn a paycheck, the first thing you do, you need to pay yourself first. According to many experts, you need to pay yourself first before you pay the bills. I know. When it, when, when it comes to bills and everything else and fun, you go like, I can't do that because my money will only cover the bills. Therefore, you are a slave, my friend. You are a slave to yourself. If you don't know how to get fun, you, my friend, will become too serious and your life meaningless okay so that is the fun part next start to pay it forward line have you ever done anything like that yes sometime now studies show that if you see a homeless person or someone who begging for money i'm sure you do okay now the person ahead of you who decide to give that uh, that homeless person like whatever dollar like a dollar maybe five dollars maybe twenty dollars okay now studies show that not just the person who gave the money that feel good and satisfied the people like you who behind them saw it actually made you you know receive the benefit of of of, of being uh you know uh generous so Next time, my friend, if you want to do something special, next time, find yourself in a drive-thru, uh, uh, maybe at breakfast drive-thru at McDonald's or even at Starbucks for coffee. Pay order for the person behind you and that they call it uh, paying, uh, paying forward, okay? Pay it forward line, basically. Now, you can do this. Now, don't make this your stressful day because we talk about money here okay now you can ask the cashier you can ask the person in a drive through window and say do you know how much the person behind me order uh and they can tell you and say oh, okay well it was eight dollar and 75 cents you go like uh let me pay for that and they know they'll let you do that and guess what once you do that, you take your order, you don't even need to wait with them. All you need to do is pay and go. And guess what? The person behind you wouldn't believe it. They go like, oh my God. Oh my God. It's my lucky day. Oh my God. This is so good. I have, I, not because they don't have money. It just hit them so hard that they feel like they winning a lottery. And you, Yes, you feel better. You know, later on, you go, go, you know, go out on your day, and and you go like, ha, huh, well, I lead, I I did something today. Okay, it won't cost a lot of money, I promise you. But let's say the the man or the woman behind you order like a forty dollar McDonald. Forget about. It, okay, don't make yourself go that far. You'll be happier for doing this. I promise. Okay. All right. All it takes is uh, it's just one little thing to kick your day. We talk about happiness and money here. Okay. Now, next, say no. Say no. How many times? If all of you are my friend who have listened to me, how many times I taught you how to say no? It might sound terrible. But sometimes you need to say no to establish a boundary, a line, and say you cannot cross this line and make sure you have time and money for yourself, okay? Though it can feel good in a short term to say yes when they ask you for anything, you oh, I can't say no. You just go and say yes. It might feel good. To make that yes and answer yes and just go out your way and do again and again for the same people who take advantage of you to make the other person happy. It can come back to bite you later on. I promise almost a hundred percent, my friend. Okay, it will come back to bite you later on. Practice being assertive and low stick situations, such as stranger trying to sell you something. You feel like uh, you feel more comfortable when you have to tell someone you care about no in the future. Okay, now just imagine. Doesn't matter if they are a stranger or someone close to you. You deserve the right to say no. All right. Okay, next, smile even if you don't feel like it. 
Have you ever tried that? If you have not, I tell you what. Here's my secret. In the morning, when I start to go to work, okay. Now while I'm driving, while I'm driving to work, it take me. I usually drive about twenty minutes to work. Okay. Now it's a lot closer because I I live near it. But it used to be about twenty minutes. Now I know my day at work going to be not smooth or perfect every day. Or well, it's different every day. Okay. So here's what I do: smile in the morning. All you have to do when you're driving your car, all right, just practice smile, smile, big smile, do a big smile, okay? Just that. No one see you. I promise. Just do a big smile. First, do that for around 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds. After that, I want you to laugh so loud and say, "Ha ha ha!" Just like that. I promise you. You trick your brain and you trick your psychological uh, thinking, and that day you will feel like you win a million dollar because you happy. And doesn't matter how difficult your day or situation that you will face on that day, it will help you to go through that day smiling. Practice how to smile. All right. Okay. Now. The very last one I'm gonna tell you guys is strive for serenity and security. How about that? Use your finance to make life more secure and more peaceful. We talk about finance here, okay? And happiness here. Peace of mind is cl- it, it's critical. It's important to happiness. So use the money to pay down your debt. If you have any money, pay down your debt. Add to your saving. That will help you in a long run. Imagine I used to live really poor. Okay, not because I choose to. I got no other way, but had to be that way. My wife and I came to this country without mom or dad, and we were young. We were eighteen without relative that can support us. And basically, my friend, that's it. We have got two of us. That's it. You and me, and then we have the kid, and you know you have to learn English. You have to do the whole thing. We were so poor, and money. Forget about saving. We couldn't even do it. But eventually, we made it a promise to pay ourselves a little bit, not much. Twenty dollar, maybe, maybe fifty dollar when we can afford it. Eventually, it's like a hundred dollar, and. Number of years later, we both working, and now you can afford to pay yourself, you and your wife, you and your husband, a thousand dollar a month, maybe two thousand dollar. Eventually, set up your goal. Everything else, eventually, eventually, it'll work out. Okay, your kid growing up. Now you make more money. Now you move forward, and you and you, you and your wife, you and your husband, you are doing better in a society. But don't forget where you come from, regardless where you go. Okay. Well, thank you so much for listening to me, and I hope you like what I just went through, what I just talked to you about. If you would like. Any advice? Don't call me because I am not the expert. I'm just telling you what I feel. Okay? There are a lot of experts out there, like financial planner, like therapist, like all of those po- folk who can help you and actually give you a plan, manage your plan, and make sure you go step by step to meet your goal. My name is Ted Vang. Thank you so much for listening to me. Have a nice day.